my name is Alia Green, and I'm going to begin today by taking a quick poll of the class. By a show of hands, how many in this room have ever broken a bone or had to wear a cast or splint? Okay, among the ladies, how many of you have or plan on becoming pregnant at some point in your lives? And by a show of hands, how many in this room plan on growing old? <laughs> well, uh, we, whether you may not know it, um, these are all types of disability and they can occur at any point in your lives. A simple definition of the word disability tells us that it's a physical or mental condition that limits a person's movements, senses, or activities. As you can see, this is a kind of broad definition, and it's not just about the word diagnosis. Disability does not have to be about a permanent illness or condition. It can be temporary, it can be short term, and it can happen frequently throughout our lives. Today I'm going to discuss three different types of these kinds of disabilities. Disability due to injury, disability due to pregnancy, and disability due to aging. First I'm going to discuss disability due to injury. Temporary disability can occur when one experiences an accidental injury. Breaks and sprains to major bones and muscles can cause a sudden lack in your mobility. If you have to wear a cast or use crutches, this can make your mobility even worse and you can have difficulty with your daily tasks and chores. Recovery from major surgeries can also greatly immobilize you. Bed rest is often required to help you heal, and you may need assistance with things like dressing, bathing, and eating all your daily tasks. Because these instances are so common, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles even issues temporary disability parking placards, so people with these kinds of injuries can park in handicap spots that are closer to the doors. According to the BMV website for Ohio, if the disabling condition is six months or less, a temporary placard can be issued. Next, I'm going to discuss disability due to pregnancy. Pregnancy can be a very disabling condition, and it will happen to most women throughout their lives. According to the Center for Disease Control's National Vital Statistics Report, in 2010, the preliminary estimate of registered births for the United States was 4,279,000. And these numbers do not even include all pregnancies, such as those that are stillborn or not carried to full term. Some of the things that can make pregnancy disabling include limited mobility, digest digestive system disruptions, and chemical and hormonal changes that can alter your mental state. Women who have abnormal or high-risk pregnancies can even experience worse conditions. Jeanette Cox, Associate Professor of Law at the University of Dayton, describes in her study, Pregnancy as Disability and the Amended Americans with Disabilities Act, that pregnancy needs to be redefined. When debating accommodations in the workplace, courts have often argued that pregnancy is the natural consequence of a properly functioning reproductive system and thus cannot be a disability. However, Cox's art article challenges that idea and states that a medical diagnosis of defect should not be a prerequisite to disability accommodation eligibility. Because of this, in 2008, an amendment was made to the American with Disabilities Act to help broaden the protection of rights to people who have temporary disabilities, such as those experienced during pregnancy. Finally, I'm going to discuss disability due to aging. As the body ages, it naturally begins to break down. Some typical ailments that one can experience include hearing loss, vision impairment, arthritis, and muscle weakness. And these symptoms can start as early as your midlife. To help better understand the process of aging, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has developed a suit called AGNIS, which stands for the Age Gain Now Empathy System. According to the Age Lab website at MIT, this suit has been calibrated to approximate the motor, visual, flexibility, dexterity, and strength of a person in their mid-70s. In other words, when this suit is worn, it helps let a person experience what it is like to be aging right now and can help them gain empathy and to adapt to the environment right now before it happens. Aside from the MIT Agnes suit, there is an entire industry out there for people who are aging of adaptive equipment and technology because it is something that will happen to everyone as they get older. In conclusion, um, Injury, pregnancy, and aging are just a few of the many different types of disabilities out there. Even if you happen to never be affected by one of these, chances are you'll know someone who will. 
So next time you see a news article or a story that talks about the disabled community or amendments to the Americans with Disabilities Act, pay a bit closer attention because you never know when it could directly affect you.